In the Valley, it's the Clark Chargers tonight hosting the Cimarron Memorial Spartans. I'd like to welcome Sean King to the broadcast. Yeah, Sean, good evening. It's playoff time. Kenny, it's playoff time. It is beautiful. I mean, this has to be like the epitome of football weather. I am so fired up. We got us a rematch here in the first round of the playoffs. Yes, got to love that. I want a one-point game with our kicker who's kicking off right now. Lucas Petty kicked a field goal to win it late in the game. Yes, he did. Uh, Cimarron feels like they are in line for some get back much healthier now. Their head coach, Shane Caney, said as they enter tonight's playoff game versus Clark. Jaron Westbrook's back deep to return this kick for Cimarron. He bobbles it at the 12, out to the 20-25, and hit and taken down at the 34 as he moved his way forward for a little extra yardage. After the last few weeks, Kenny, I'm almost expecting the opening kickoff to get ran back for a touchdown. <laughs> We've seen a few now, right? Yes, we have. Well, our first chance looking at this Spartans offense. Coach Kenny said they've battled a lot of injuries but he feels like this is as healthy as they've been. We get a chance to see his quarterback, Matthew Sewell. He thinks the world of him. And, you know, they say Mikael Curry is one of the fastest kids in Las Vegas. Runs track. We get to see that explosive speed tonight yes, he is. on offense for the Spartans. A track star is uh, Kyle Kenny. That was the Las Vegas Honda dealer starting lineup. She saw Sewell quarterback Patterson, Westbrooks, and Yillis. And this is Sewell rolling out to the right. Throws, and this is intercepted by Clark. A big turnover to start the game inside the 25 and down on the 22-yard line. Now, Coach Reeder, and I didn't get a chance to say, you know, what Clark expected. They only had four returning players from last year's team. Sebastian Reynaga was one of them. One of the few guys they had coming into the year with a lot of experience, and what a way to get this home game started. Santiago, first varsity start at quarterback is a playoff. Yano Pinter Santiago, as Sean mentioned, first varsity start. He's been telling Coach Reeder all year he's a quarterback. Wildcat, basically, here. Banks speed takes the snap, runs right inside the 20, and he fumbles. This ball is loose. It's on the turf. Fighting for it underneath here. What have you got, Rich? Joel Ritchie signals it is Cimarron's football. Turnover, Sean, is it playoff jitters? Yeah, a lot of inexperience on the field. Uh, bank speed is a guy way to respond right there by the Spartans. And there you see the Las Vegas Honda dealers Clark defense for tonight's football game. He'll hand this off to Miguel Curry. Curry gets trying to get the edge. He is pushed out of bounds at the running backs to his right and left. Wide receiver split, handoff again to Curry. And he is taken down around the 25. Just a junior. Wide receiver, tunnel screen here. This is Patterson, and he is out past the first down marker to the 33-34 yard line, and he's pushed out of bounds for a first down. Yeah, good job by Jarrell Patterson. First of all, attack early. But that's a great way to help a quarterback early in the game. You know, just get him a little screen throw, get his confidence going. You know, even Coach mentioned before the game, Sue is a guy that gets better. Sue found the open man quick, and you're right. It did get there in a hurry. Westbrooks takes it in and takes it for the first down. Do it that. that that's the advantage, I think, here in this game. Here's the handoff again up the middle to Curry. He's got room, and he breaks a tackle. Cross midfield, and he's down to the 39-yard line of Clark. It's a good vision right here by Curry. Doesn't look like anything's there, but that little cutback right there, just what the doctor ordered. What I would tell Mr. Curry, get that ball chin. He's running with it extremely loose. Ball security, job security. That's right. That, uh, that D-line you're talking about, the Clark Chargers. Michael Smith, 6'4", 280. Dominic Harris, 6'8", 280. Some big guys on that line. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Give it back to Curry again as he dances from left side to the right side of the field. He's down inside the 25, the 20 to around the 15 as he's pushed. Notice here, right when he bounces this out, he's going to get his face mask grabbed down right there inadvertently. So I'm assuming it's going to be half the distance from where McHale went out of bounds. Movement as well. A lot of those track guys become wide receivers, not running backs because of that fact. And here's the quarterback, so he's going to keep it on his own. He's inside the 10 down to the 7-yard line. We are in the UPS of Curry to his right. He gives it to Curry. Curry's up the middle. He's met around the five. 
Taken down rudely. First and goal to goal. That's the killer because you're about to have Cimarron in third down. You get a stop, maybe hold him to a field goal. And now they get a whole nother set of downs. Sua out of the shotgun, hands to Curry. Curry's in for the score. Looked to me like he was in for the score. They're saying no. Maybe he had the ball in the wrong hand. Understand. Worst thing you want right there is to put that ball on the ground. We'll line up second and inches and see if we can cast this one in. Down and inches now for Cimarron. Quarterback Sewell taking himself. He's not going to get there. Needs with the tackle of a yard loss. Sue is going to keep it himself. He'll take this in the end zone. Touchdown. Cimarron on the board. In defender goes with Curry. It's that old military type. Tough option attack, attack. Yes. You see Army and Navy and Air Force. Up is down. The kick is up and it is good. I believe we have two kickers here tonight, John. Oh, man. We do have to. Fuller number eight. Four is out past the 20 and taken down at the 25 yard line. And that was Julian Fuller, the senior. Deano Pinto Santiago was making his first start, but as you see here, go. He has five wide receivers, three to his right, two to his left. He throws this up and is almost intercepted off the hands and the long. You know, the timing's just off a little bit. You know, you're making your first start. You've got a motion guy coming. You're trying to, you know, time the snap. <laughs> That's a lot, Kenny. Telling me. <laughs> I've never played the position. You know, he's always got to be cognizant when you have a young quarterback. The more simpler you can make the first couple plays, the better. Because he's nervous. You know, you don't know what to expect. You've never been in this situation before. So there's going to be some, some some anxious energy there. So the more you can help him, the better. It's in a row for this Chargers team. So he's building it the right way. That's a good ball right there, Kenny. Quarter, uh, kind of a tunnel screen to wide receiver Fuller. And that's a first down out to the 40-yard line. Big play. That's a 20-yard pickup. Yeah, Pinner Santiago, you can see the talent. Couple offensive linemen out blocking. Yeah, my guy Julian Fuller, get that ball tucked. He's got it loose. Pinter Santiago takes the snap. Another quick pass. Good hands. Picked up a couple yards. Little swing pass. Santiago again, quick pass out to wide receiver. Taken down and knocked out of bounds around the 48 yard line. That's Andres Pollard. First down out to the 49. Short by a yard. But obviously, Coach Rito feels like they have an athleticism. Screen them to death until they come up and then over the top for a touchdown. Takes the handoff. Our quarterback keeps it, and he's going to get the first down across midfield to the 48 of Clark. 48 of Cimarron. I think they felt better after the third and long. This is not going any. This is going to be a loss. He's going to throw deep. He's got a guy over the middle, and it is off the fingertips. It's almost mistakenly turned into a, a touchdown play for Clark. Yeah. Brandon Banks speed. Here's the handoff inside. Could be a double pass, and it is a double pass. Fuller's going to throw. Six is, you're probably going to go for it. Well, he's going to throw this deep down the field, and it is incomplete. Over the head of number third and 25. Pinter Santiago rolls left. Pressured and taken down at the four. Amazing. That's a semester or two under their belt. Yeah, absolutely. Some, some of them even more. So um, we've got a teach program, so they're able to get some classes there. Um, so send it back to the booth to the guys. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. We started the second quarter with it. We are right now second and nine from the 49 o'clock. It's only the second period, Kenny, but it feels like all two touchdowns behind. With a young quarterback, you're right. This pass is incomplete. In motion, that's Regulus again, dropping straight back, firing over the middle, deflected by a Clark charge. And back to receive Shaden Coelho. This is a high, booming punt. Coelho takes it at the, about the six. He's after the 16 and breaks a tackle past the 20 and taken out of bounds around the 25-yard line. 
Coelho. That was a high booming kick shot. You no, know, Shaden's going to the sideline like Coach Reader. Man, put me in on offense. <laughs> Let me help us. On the field, but they get it get off the field just in time. And uh, Petro Santiago is going to keep it himself. And there's a pretty big game. This line here, they got the big guys over there trying to run behind them. They'll do it again. Bank speed takes the snap. And if I have you confused, hopefully you know up to speed. It's a handoff to wide receiver Andre Pollard, and it is a big loss of about four. Santiago throws deep over the middle. He's got a guy wide open. It was underthrown, but the receiver was. That's well. So. Yes. Yeah, we turned the uh, punt. Yes, sir. It's one of those nights where Shane's got to go to Coach Reed and say, Coach, just feed me. Just feed me. Eight in first down, I saw. But here's Santiago. He's going to throw over the middle again. He's got a guy, great hands, caught, broken tackle, and the speed is gone. Touchdown, Julian. I go first ever varsity start at quarterback. And what a versatile athlete Julian Fuller is. Interception for his defense, first play of the game. He's been all over the field. Great catch. And it showed up on that play. The kick is blocked. Back to you. Thank you, Alex. There we go. Kickoff. Back to around the 10. Taken out past the 20 to the 25. A big hit, but still on his feet. And down at the 29-yard line. That was quite a collision there, Kenny. Was it ever? That was uh, Darren Westbrooks. On the return. Looked like Jaron Westbrooks might have got the best of that as well. <laughs> he did. Clark defender went flying. He walked off the field with no problems, but he'll be back out there soon. But they're having fun here tonight. They are. That's Matthew Sewell about. drops back. He's got his safety valve, and it's incomplete. Under pressure, Sewell steps up, rolling left, going to throw deep. He launches this one up very high and almost caught. It. <laughs> It was not. This is Sua back to punt now, and again, he puts a boot into it. He has got enough hang time for his guys to get down there. It was fumbled, picked up by number one on Clark, run down the sidelines, and taken out of... This was a, a muff here by our guy Shaden, but Johnny on the spot right there was Andre Pollard, and for a second, it looked like this is going to result in another touchdown for Clark. Clark very fortunate. That they were able to get. Hey, hey, we got the score. First time hey, these two played. It was a Lucas Petty field goal hey. late in the game to the ball, get the man. victory for Clark 17 16 over at Cimarron. That was only a month ago. And we've got that same kind of competitive atmosphere here. This has been a back and forth game. We do. I love it. Love these type of competitive games. Oh, a little mix-up here. Out, Bank speed is at quarterback, and our guy, Pinto Santiago, is in the slot at receiver. Bank speed fakes the handoff, and he'll keep it himself. Cimarron not fooled on the play, sending plenty of players ready for the snap. Pinto Santiago. Little swing pass. Nowhere to go. He wants to come up with something that, that at least gives him some thought about potentially going forward on fourth. Third and ten, Santiago's pressured. He throws an interception. Malachi Wright White. That's tremendous by the big fella. That's almost like TJ Watt. You see TJ Watt? Oh with Curry to his right. We haven't heard much of Curry here lately. A lot early on. His handoff is to Curry and no gain. Well, it is a ladder. That ladder, you step up that ladder every year. Just a notch higher. Sua hands, fakes the handoff here. The RPO. Sua has shown he is a dual threat quarterback. He's able to dance his way through the. Pinter Santiago fakes like he's going to throw inside handoff. Dogs close. You over there. But that's another charger. A first down by the Chargers, a CSN first down, out to the 32-yard line. Pick up a 17. A swing pass again to wide receiver Pollard. Pollard breaks a tackle. 
hard to get down, but they do. Some around to use some timeouts. Back to pass. Pressured here on this play, and he's going to scramble and pick up yardage. Pitcher. Shotgun here. Bank speed. This is a wide receiver screen of a tunnel screen and a big. So you probably realistically are in Hail Mary. If they have timeouts, why are we not taking timeouts? Well, he was out of bounds then, so the clock will stop. I'm saying the play before that, there was so much time ran off. They had 20 some I, seconds. I, I agree. Should have used the timeout then. Here we go. Six seconds left. Three wide receivers to the left. Bank speed to the right. He's looking to bank speed. This is complete and a big hit down at the 29. Is there enough time left for that timeout? So the, the clock will stop to get it the chain set, but I think it's going to run. That's going to be the half. That will be Joel Ritchie signaled that we are at the end. And Clark six tight contest and a couple of plays here in the first half from both teams, Sean. Yeah, we got some explosive athletes. We haven't really got them in space as much as probably either coach would like, but we have had some turnovers as you see the initial one by Clark on the first play of the game for them. But Mikhail Curry had a huge impact early. Matthew Sewell found himself away into the end zone for the lone Cimarron touchdown. And this just is a great play. Remember, Pinter Santiago, first varsity start, is in today's playoff game as he cut next with Julian Fuller there for the touchdown. That was a big touchdown catch there by Fuller. We're going to take it.